What's going on folks? It's uh, 1.05 in the morning right now. Time to get the last couple things in the car and hit the road. scorpions in our closet like every day that wasn't they weren't really a problem you found scorpions where when we lived in havasu in our house they used to be all everywhere they were as just as prevalent as like spiders are i've never seen a scorpion in my life really these aren't just good for debarbing uh hooks they also can uh <laughs> <laughs> they're just projectiled on you let me see if i got it right <laughs> Okay. To clam it. Clam it. Clam it. Bit of a pathetic showing. All right. Time to wash some of this beer off my waders in the river. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> so calm. I can't believe we get this whole place to ourselves. So we didn't totally look up all the regulations before coming here. So we don't know if it's barbless fly or not barbless fly, but you can always assume when you're in a beautiful place, going for beautiful fish like steelhead and wild trout in a beautiful river like the Klamath, that you're going to want to take the barbs off of those hooks. Our hooks that we've got set up on here, they've got that little barb on there. So we're just gonna take our pliers and push it down, maybe try to break it off, but usually we can just push it down without breaking it off. And then there's no barb. And you can get the fish off easier. Makes it a little bit more challenging to bring the fish in, but hey, that's what the fun of fishing is, right? Making it a little bit more challenging. Uh, look at that. No more barb, straight hook, prime time. So, we are on the Klamath River. What a journey it's been already. Nice, good, long drive. And now we're enjoying this great beauty that is the Klamath River. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited for a great fishing trip. We're gonna be gone from home for about nine. Eight days. Eight days. It's gonna be eight days full of fishing and we're gonna get one, I can tell. If you are like me and you use Instagram and are also a fisherman, then you have pretty much seen this thing all over your feed. The Chillin' Reel. This is advertised as a beer koozie that you can use to fish. Now we're using this on a steelhead river. Um, I see this beer going flying down the river and we've... What was that? Stranglers. Um, Owen's gonna be throwing out the first cast because somehow he was the one who got drawn into buying this Instagram purchase, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you're gonna wanna throw it that way. Right. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> one more time. Come on, celebrate. Woo! All right, Owen, Elise, and I are getting in the car right now. We're gonna go try to find a spot to hit off the road with the fly rods. So that way we can get a little bit of a change of scenery. And then we're gonna come back here in the evening and maybe throw some, some metal baits on the spinning rod instead of the fly rods, see if that's what they've been looking for. But hopefully we'll be able to say that we caught one right now. 
right after this video. This place. This place. Stay tuned for more videos about fishing. Terrible hook set anyway. Would have lost it if it was a real fish. All right. So we're currently at where Beaver Creek bleeds into the Klamath River, hoping that this might be an area for some high activity for some fish. Elise and Owen have already gotten some bites on their nymphing setup that they've got. And I have a big indicator fly and a uh, very small nymph fly there. We found bugs outside of our camp. I hope I didn't just hear Owen say something. Uh, we found bugs outside of our camp that looked just like this. So we're trying to imitate those. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit it now. We've already been taking a couple casts here and no luck. Owen and Elise got some bites, but no fish yet. Oh, it's big. Could have been a steelhead. It could have been, but I didn't get a good enough look. It could have easily been just a small something else. Owen. Oh, yeah. My second cast here. Oh my gosh. So, Owen here, this son of a bitch, just actually hooked a fish on, and he lost it. He wasn't able to get it into the net. We were talking over there to the camera, and the faint distance over the river, you just hear, Ryan! Ryan! And so we come running and Owen's just going like this. Right. Well, I hooked it. I wasn't even exactly sure. I gave a second strip. He just straight up jumped out of the water, almost head height. Basically landed right here. As soon as I had him in the hand, he just popped right off and gone. Uh... So. What can you say? It gives me some good hope that, uh, that we're going to get some bigger fish here. Yes. Oh, yeah. good I should have been on it faster with the net I couldn't get it off my back and I thought I lost him at, a, at one point and uh, he was really just tricking me up he swam towards me so I thought he was off the hook and then I lifted up again he was still there so that's when I jumped in the water at that point well I dropped the net in the water <laughs> anyway they're here they're biting nymphs so Copper Johns if you wanna we're gonna be posting this video the week that we're filming it, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to catch some steelhead on a Copper John, the place to do it is Beaver Creek and Klamath River connection. I mean, it's easy to find, it's easy to walk to, it's easy to park, and there's a lot of great places to camp and or stay here at an Airbnb. We're at the River Bend Lodge or something like that it's called. Anyway, amped. Let's see if we can get some more. At least, or one. I guess we still haven't gotten one yet, technically. Oh. Oh, is that a bite? Yep. Fish on. Nice. 
Go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Woo. That is my first ever steelhead. Get your hands nice and wet before touching these fish. Check out that gorgeous silver fish. Whew. It's not very often that you get to catch one of these bad boys. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> this fish doesn't know how long I've been waiting for it. This buddy's ready to get back in the water, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna let him go. Ooh. Bye, buddy. Goodbye. Right back down to the bottom he goes. So we actually ended up hooking him on this big old bad fly. That little fish was trying to get this giant meal. That would be like me eating a full turkey. Anyway, yes. Give me a high five. Boom. That's right. Boom. That's right. <sighs> yes. All right, folks, so it's looking like today is coming to an end. Our last day here on the Klamath River, the beautiful areas all around it, and our last chance to try to get some of these fish in this river. But don't worry, because we're going further on this road trip up north, and we are going to try to catch some even crazier fish than steelhead. I know, steelhead are pretty crazy. But we've got something in store for you, so please watch all the following videos coming. All, uh, so please watch all of the videos to come in the next couple of weeks because they're going to be choice. Thank you very much for watching and please leave a like on this video if you thought that it was pretty cool. And if you wanna see more videos like this, like the one I'm hinting at, go ahead and leave a subscribe as well on this channel so you can see all the videos that I'm posting as they come out. Thank you very much and we will catch you out there next time on the water. Peace. It's our last couple hours here on the Klamath River. We just woke up at our Airbnb and we just had to, before we put our rods away, get in the water one more time. Our waders are freezing cold and soaking wet, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna get out there anyway. And we're gonna catch some more fish before we get on the road and head to our next, destina next destination, which is still a secret. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll just have to see. Owen caught a fish. Good job, Owen. He's got the rainbow colors, but I don't think there's rainbows here. You can fit through the holes in the net, so be careful. Oh, look at that. Wow. Little guy. Sweet. All right, bud, let's let you go. Oh. <laughs> Did he get out? Is he, he's out he's there? He's going. <laughs> so small, it goes through the holes in the net. Still counts, right? Still count. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was a steelhead. I don't know for sure, though. We'll have to look it up. It's a trophy fish either way. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I netted it, and then all of a sudden, I just see it go, Doo. I'm like, no! <laughs> I'm like, he's still on. <laughs> <laughs> Good fish in the morning. Good fish in the morning. Didn't even want to put his waders on today. I was very close to not. <laughs>